AudioCraft is a new project from Meta AI that allows you to create AI generated music and sound effects. It's completely free, completely open source, and you can install it locally. I'm gonna show you how, let's go. So I'm gonna be showing you how to install this on a Mac, but it should work almost the same on Windows. So the first thing we're gonna do is create a new Conda environment. And we're gonna type Conda create dash N AC for AudioCraft. And we're gonna be using Python 3.9, which is the recommended version. Python equals 3.9, then enter. It's gonna install all the packages we need. We're going to accept. All right, there it's installed. Now we're going to activate. So we're going to grab this command right here, paste it, conda activate AC, hit enter. And now we know it worked because we have this little AC in the corner. Next, we need to make sure we have FFmpeg installed so we can actually play the audio files. And to do that, we're gonna type brew install FFmpeg. If you don't already have homebrew installed, I recommend you get it if you're on a Mac. And it's telling me I already have it installed because I ran through this already, but it should install it for you. So I'm good to go now. Next, we need to clone the repository. So on the GitHub page, click this little green code button. And then right next to this URL, we're gonna click the copy button. Switch back to your terminal and then we're going to type git clone and then the URL we just copied, then hit enter. Next, we're going to change directory into it by typing cd audiocraft. Now we need to install all of the requirements. So we're going to type python m pip install r requirements.txt. The last thing we need to do is just spin up the Gradio demo. To do that, we're going to type python m demos.musicgen underscore app dash dash share. All right, there we go. It's going to give you the local URL. So we're just going to highlight this and click copy. We're going to switch back to our browser, paste in that URL and load it up. And here it is. This is what it looks like. Up in the top left where you see input text, this is where you're going to type your prompt. And it can be anything describing any kind of music you want. Now remember, this is for music gen. And so this is always going to be music. And then I'll show you audio gen in a moment. So I'm going to type 90s hip hop West Coast and then submit. The first time you run this, it's going to need to download the models and it'll take a while. Now I've already done that. So it's it's going to skip over that process and it's going to go right to actually generating the music files and it does take a while it's out of 500 steps and i believe it's only using my cpu right now now while that's loading let me show you the other options i believe right here where you're seeing this file drop you can upload different music files and you could do music to music which is pretty cool over here you can select your model so i'm choosing music gen dash melody but they have small medium and large models as well so i encourage you to play around with those and see which one gives you the best results down here you have the duration so it's set to 10 seconds and you can see how long it's taking for just a 10 second file. You can scale this all the way up to a two minute audio file, but I'm going to leave it at 10 seconds for now. You can also play around with top K, top P temperature, which is at one. That's a value between zero and one. And it's just like when you're using a large language model where the higher the temperature, the more creative the response will be. And for music, I think we definitely want it at a one. And then down below, it gives us some examples. All right, it's finished. There it is. Let's give it a listen. Yeah, so that's pretty good. Again, you can play around with all the settings and see what else you can get out of it. I've had some really good results so far, but now, let me show you how to make sound effects, which is amazing. So I had a lot of trouble getting audio gen working. I tried doing it through code. I tried running the Jupyter notebook and I just had a ton of trouble. Most likely the Jupyter notebook issue is something related to my Mac. So you could probably get it working decently well, but I found an even better way. The incredible Cocktail Peanut, the same person responsible for creating the original Dolly Llama, which allowed us to run Llama locally, has created a pull request to the AudioCraft repository that basically creates a Gradio app for the audio gen side of things, not just the music gen. And I tested it out and it works perfectly. Right now, the pull request is not merged, but it looks like it's in the process of being merged. So right now you do have to take a couple extra steps, which I'll show you, but soon enough, you won't have to do this anymore. So the first thing we're gonna need to do is fetch his PR. And to do that, we're gonna type git fetch origin pull slash 185 slash head colon PR 185 and then hit enter. Then we need to switch to that branch. So we're gonna type git checkout PR 185 enter. And now you can tell we're on PR 185 right there. And then just like music gen, we can spin up the Gradio demo just like this. Python dash M demos dot audio gen underscore app dash dash share. And there we go, now it's live so we can grab this local URL right here, switch back to our browser and enter that URL. And here we are, this is audio gen. So you can type absolutely anything. So I'm gonna say dog barking. Again, the first time you run this, you're gonna need to download the model. So it's gonna take a while. I've already done that. So I don't need to do that again. All right, it's done. Let's give it a listen. All right, it gave me a little dog this time. 
It sounds really good though. And you can make any audio effect that you want from this and it's free. It's pretty amazing. Play around with it. Let me know what you think in the comments below. And if you liked playing around with this open source AI model locally, check out my Llama 2 local install tutorial, which I'll link in the description below. If you like this video, please consider giving me a like and subscribe and I'll see you in the next one.